So today is day 29 of the 31 day challenge. But today I want to show you a web surfer agent that was added to Autogen a little while ago. And as the name suggests, we will be surfing the web using LLM and having human feedback to what we want to do next. Now, the way this is set up is you will need a Bing API key that you see here. I'll have the information on how you can kind of set that up. It took me about five minutes to set up, but let's just go through this and I'll show you examples and what it does. So first off, anytime you see uh, autogen.agentat.contrib, that means it was a contribution. So somebody uh, created this agent as a part of the conversible agents from Autogen. And this one is just slightly different. So let's just go through this. We have the LLM config and we have the summarizer LLM config because it takes two different configs. So we say web surfer equals the web surfer agent. So we again, take the name, the LLM config is the typical LLM config, but there's also a summarizer LLM config property. And the difference is if we, if we say, Hey, select the link that um, like say there were several links on the actual page, it's going to give us in a text form uh, what those links are. So if I say, Hey, select that link, it's going to use this LLM config. And then if I say, Hey, summarize, like if we go to Wikipedia and there's like a huge, you know, article on Sam Altman, for instance, and I say, Hey, summarize what you see on the screen right now, then it's going to use this config. And then it takes a browser config so you can change the viewport size. And this is how much it will like be able to see on the screen at once. So like I said, if you can scroll down, it'll, it'll kind of calculate how many times it would have to scroll down as pages. And I'll show you an example of that in a, just a minute. And then of course you need to create a Bing API key. And then we have a user proxy agent. And the difference is the human input mode here is always because we're going to be chatting with the web surfer agent to do something for us as it's searching on the web. Okay. So after we ran it, it did a search the latest news on AI. And when it did that, it showed only, I think it only shows one page whenever you're actually looking for results on say like a search page of Bing, it'll only give you one page of results. So you can see there's like 15 different addresses here that we could choose from, and then we can have it select or go to one of these links. So if we come back up to the first one here, this is something from TechCrunch. I'm going to say, go to this link, link from the first result. Okay. So it did that. There's a couple ways you can actually tell it. You could have it uh, select the link with the title that it shows there, but this works. So it says viewport position showing page one of five. That means that I could, it could scroll down and it could see five different pieces of information, but it's just going to show us the first one. We have to tell it to scroll down if we want to see more. So this is. Um, this is kind of like how the website is set up. So it has some articles here. If we were to go to that link, we would see it this way as well. So instead I want to say, scroll down to the second page, scroll down to page two. So now it's showing page two of five. Okay. And now here is, here's a post from March 26th. And what I want to do is I want to, um, go to this link cause this is I believe like if you actually go to the website, you know, they give a quick summary of the post and you go to into the link and you get the rest of it. Well, that's what this is. So I'm going to tell it to go to this link. So what I asked it to do was go to the post from Sarah Perez about premium subscribers on X. So here it posts from Sarah Perez, and this was about premium subscribers on X. So then it went and did that gives you the title. And then here is the actual post from, uh, from that link. So whenever we actually go into that link, here's the post. Now let's summarize this. And the difference that's going to be here is there's a different function. There's a different function called summarize page. So you do like a web search with the LLM config. And now we're using the summarizer LLM config. This is a different function that's being called to summarize the page. And so here it summarized the page. Okay. So I think something like that is more viable if you have a UI and you can kind of maybe have a visual of what it looks like, where it's going and then say, Hey, Oh, okay. I want to go there. But now what if we kind of already know what we want to do, we can have several tasks in a row and then tell it what to do whenever it gets to that page beforehand. So here I want to search information about Autogen, summarize the results, and then click the getting started result. So I'll run this and just go through with you what it's actually doing. Right. So the first task was to search the web for information about Microsoft Autogen. So it does that the address is Autogen's address. So results here, here are about 10 results, I think. Yeah. So it came up with 10 different results on Bing's homepage about Autogen. Then what I asked it to do was to summarize these results. So it's now using the web surfer summarizer LM config. So then it just does a summary of it. And then on the third task, I asked it to click the getting started result. Now, if we come back up here, I believe it was the third one. Yeah. So the third one, this was the third result. So it was getting started with Autogen. 
So it went and clicked on that, and then it's actually going to the address. So getting started with Autogen, it's saying that I could scroll down to find to view a whole nother page, but this is GitHub's Microsoft GitHub's getting started link. And so getting started, um, main features, I think it actually has so a quick start. Yeah. So a quick start on the GitHub, it has, um, how to execute like a sample, uh, agent framework for Autogen. So if we actually go to this page, this is what it actually looks like. We're just seeing it in text form. All right. So for another example, I can have three different tasks already defined again. So find Microsoft's Wikipedia page, scroll down because there's gonna be a lot of pages there and then ask what is their total revenue because you'll see it on that page. Okay. It ran it. So find Microsoft's Wikipedia page. Um, you know, so there's showing page one of 66. So their Wikipedia is huge basically. Uh, so this is the, this is like the first thing that you'll see when you go to their page, right? All their services, the revenue, and I guess all and other things. So I have it scroll down and it's going to show some more information, awards, companies, uh, charitable stuff in okay, case is all kind of like before it gets to the summary of different timelines and history of, uh, Microsoft. And then I said, what is their total revenue? So based out of Redmond, Washington, they have a total reported total revenue of 211.9 billion in 2023. Okay. Awesome. That was just a quick overview of using the web surfer agent. The only thing I would say about this is you can't really have it go out and search for something and then come back with information without giving it kind of exactly where to find it on that web page. So there's some pre work that kind of has to go into it. Uh, but you could set up like a template for if gathering information that might be changing every day. So if you want to get the latest blog post from a specific website, you could know to go to that website, click on the latest link, and then summarize that blog post from that link. Again, if you're using like a local server for an open source LLM, then you have no issues. Anyways, thank you for watching. This was kind of showcase another agent that you can use with Autogen. Tell me what you think about in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.